Hey guys, it's Jocelyn. So today I am going to be showing you guys my dorm haul so far. I haven't really bought everything that I necessarily need, but right now I have a good start at least. So I'm excited to show you guys what I already got. I might make a part two or you might just have to see that when I move in. I move in on August 14th and today it is uh, July 18th. So less than a month away and I'm really excited. I plan to make more videos about going to college and the college that I chose and everything. If you guys didn't know, I chose Winona State University in Minnesota and it is a pretty small school compared to some of the larger ones. I'm happy with my decision. I'm so excited to move in in less than a month. But yeah, I'm gonna get right into this and show you guys what I got already. So first I'm gonna start off with showing you guys my new mattress topper I got for my Twin XL bed in college. I slept over at my boyfriend Alex's apartment one time and his bed was terrible so I bought him a mattress pad and I knew for a fact that I needed to get myself a mattress pad. I'm not gonna take this out because it unfolds into a whole twin size bed but it is very squishy. It is a um, three inch gel memory foam yeah gel memory foam mattress topper and I couldn't be more excited about this because I know that sleep is very important in college and I don't really feel like being uncomfortable my whole entire freshman year so also just want to say that I will try to remember where I got things from and also their prices. I know that mattress topper I actually got from Amazon. I just totally blanked out. I got it from Amazon and I think I paid like $86 for it I want to say and I thought that was a pretty good deal for a good night's sleep all throughout college. So next thing I wanted to show you guys is this kind of like backrest that I got from Target. It's fuzzy and gray. My roommate and I kind of coincidentally ended up having like a gray scheme for our room but yeah so I thought this would look really good. I'll show you guys my bedding that I chose. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it because I kind of saw a cuter one at Ikea today so I'm not sure but you guys will find out eventually. <laughs> I'll still show you the one that I already have but yes this is the backrest that I have. I thought it would be nice if I wanted to sit and edit in bed because I'm taking mostly film classes and I'm gonna be on my computer a lot so hopefully my bed will be comfortable enough for me to hang out at. Okay, so like I said, I was going to show you guys the bedspread that I already had gotten before I saw the one at Ikea today. I got this. It's like a quilt. It, I got a full queen size, I think. And I got this because my bed right here is a full. And I decided that I wanted to be able to bring my comforter home like in the summer. Or if I ended up getting a new one, I wanted to be able to reuse it at home instead of being at school if that makes any sense. I am going to let you guys know maybe in my next haul if I end up doing one or you'll just figure it out when I get to college is that I don't know if I'm going to keep this but I really liked it because it has a nice pattern on it and I feel like I won't get sick of it so yes that is that and then I also got these sheets from Target and they are like the jersey um or maybe not yeah they are the jersey and I got the XL Twin, which is the bed size in college. I got the XL Twin for these just because I wanted the sheets to be fitted. I just wanted the comforter or the quilt or whatever just to be bigger. I can tuck it under my bed, worst case scenario. But these I'm really excited about because they're super soft. I normally don't sleep under my covers anyways, but I like the way that these looked with those. And yeah, so this comforter ended up being, I believe, like $80. And I think this sheet set was like somewhere around $10 or $15. And I thought that was actually pretty good because it comes with a fitted mattress thing and then also it has like a fat, like a flat sheet for the top which I normally don't use and then one pillowcase in there. So that's nice. So next thing I got is kind of on to that last thing. I went back and I got two more pillowcases that matched the jersey material and I think I paid $10 for these so that might mean that those ones were a little bit more expensive. I don't really remember those ones. I remember these were 10 though. And I'm just really excited, like I said, because they're really soft and I'm gonna like these. So next, I also at Target got this lamp and I got this. It was $8, I think, which I thought was a really good price. And I thought it was cool because not only is it gonna be nice to have a lamp, obviously, at my desk, but it has like a little tray here so I can set things there if I really wanted to. I don't know, I thought it was a cute lamp and it will go with my like gray, white, black, like just neutral kind of room. Next up, I also from Target, got some bath towels. I only got two because I figured 
I don't really need more than two. I might get another one. I might get a, like a pink one to kind of go because I'm also kind of incorporating like this blush pink color. I just really like it. Kind of like you'll see later on. I'm trying to incorporate, incorporate like my accent color to be blush pink. So I'll maybe I'll just get like a blush towel too. But yeah, I got gray towels. I don't remember how much these cost. I'm, they're probably under $10 knowing Target and the towels aren't really expensive there. And randomly, I just decided to get like bright yellow washcloths. I don't know why. I thought they were cute. <laughs> yeah, they're also from Target and I'm guessing that these were like $4.99 or something. I don't remember that like one trip to Target where I got my bedding and the towels and everything. But yeah, somewhere around there. Okay, so also from Target, I got this like drawer set and I figured I could either put my makeup in here like school supplies I'm guessing I'm gonna put my makeup in here because I really don't want to bring my makeup bag to college and have to set that on my desk every single day I kind of just want it to be stationary at my desk be there um yeah because I don't have that here at home because I don't really have a desk so it's gonna be nice to finally <laughs> have something to put my makeup in but yes I thought this was nice and I wanted to put it on top of my desk and I figured it's actually pretty big so it'll hold a lot so it might not just be makeup but we'll end up seeing I guess once I start packing and then move in. <laughs> okay so this one I actually got at Walmart yesterday. I saw it and I knew I had to get it because of the color. It is this four no yep four pack of these containers. They're Sterilite containers. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here. Just something for storage. I know in my closet we have like a top shelf. I'm just gonna figure out something to store up there with these and I thought they just matched perfectly since I'm trying to find this color for to accent my room. This is just everywhere. I'm just showing you everything I got like as I pull it out. This is from Target. It's a pencil holder and I thought you know what like I'm gonna pay the $8.99 to get this because I'm gonna have my desk looking cute and I really like this holographic um, like, is that holographic? It's like rainbow, shimmery, I don't know. I really like it and I think it's gonna look super cute on my desk. And I don't know, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> this is just so random. I got some pencils, so some school supplies. I only use mechanical pencils. I can't use like wooden pencils. I can't use um, any kinds of pencils other than these ones. I think that these last me the longest out of any kind of pencil ever. So I really like these. I also got these five star snap-in bookmark dividers. I don't know, I just think that they might be handy and they were like really cheap. So I don't know, I just got them. And then I also ended up getting a tape dispenser. I'm not gonna catch myself needing tape and not have it. So I decided to get this cute little blue one. They didn't have a pink one, which was fine because I thought this blue was really pretty anyways. Okay, so my lighting was so bad and I let decided to charge my ring light a little bit. I'm using like a selfie ring light that I got for free from VidCon. So hopefully it works. And hopefully I know when it like goes a little bit dimmer because that's what it's been doing and that's why it was so dark in the last few clips. So I'm so sorry about that. But anyways, back to what I was filming before. So I got five five star one subject notebooks. I got like four, I think I got literally four white ones and then one black one because they were out of white ones. So yeah, I just got all of these and I think they were like two something a piece. Not too bad, but I really like them because they have the plastic cover on the front and it, they last a while instead of those like paper ones. They're really janky and they don't really like do the job right. Yeah, so next I have a planner. I have plenty of planners. I have so many, but I wanted one solely for just my schoolwork. So I got this like 2017 to 2018 planner. It has a um, grid view for the entire month and it also has individual days and weeks so I'm excited about that also I this is really random I decided to get a very nice coffee mug it is like rose gold and has like little dents in it I think it's really cute it was like 16 or 17 dollars but honestly I needed a new one I don't have a sturdy one that it's gonna last me throughout like college all of my other ones are like really crappy so I got this one and I thought it would do well and another thing that I got on Amazon was this comfort zone um, two-in-one clip-on or desk style fan and it looks like this I haven't taken it out of the box yet because I don't really want to transfer an open fan um, in the car I just figured it'd be easier if I have the box and I can just open it when I get to college so I have this and it can stand on a stand or I can clip it onto the top of like my bunk um, well not my bunk but like my lofted bed so that I can stay cool during the night I love fans and I use them like every single night I use mine every single night 
So I'm very excited about that. It's a necessity for me. So next, I have everything kind of in it already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and introduce my nice large laundry hamper. And I don't know how I'm gonna end up liking this since it's like very big and sturdy and not like small and like I know there's like mesh ones that like twist down to a smaller size which would be nice but I'm afraid that that would rip or something so I decided to get a big sturdy one and the reason I really like this one it's from Walmart by the way I think I spent like $13 on it it has a handle and wheels on the bottom so that I can roll it down <laughs> to the laundry place at school and I think it, that'll just make life a lot easier instead of tracking it down seven floors so yeah. Okay, next in this big box of fun that I just threw everything in. Also from Amazon, I got these um, <laughs> just like power strips. I figured Peyton can take one and I'll pay, like take one for like our sides of the room. But I just think it's a good idea just because I don't know how many outlets are in our room. And I figure we're probably going to have quite a few things that we want to put in there. Plug-in wise, like chargers and everything so I figured that would be useful next I got one of my favorite items here is it's open a little bit but it is this marble dry erase board and I'm so excited about this it's so cute and I decided to get it just because I like like the gray and the marble like kind of theme of things I don't know I was excited about it and I also ended up getting some expo markers to go with it because I have like a couple whiteboards I know I have one on my wall right now that's the same as Kind of like this one it's more of a like rectangle and I use it right now just for my room but it is also marble and I wanted to take that and maybe put it on our door if Peyton wanted to do that I think that was around ten dollars and then I also think that this one's around ten dollars maybe even less for this one but this is a weekly planner kind of whiteboard and I figured I want this just so I stay organized each week and it has a little cork board at the bottom which I really like too because I can hang important things on there so I thought that was really nice I don't know I'm big into staying organized even though it's kind of hard for me so I try to buy as many things as I can to help me stay organized so next also just like a random like school supply necessity that I need is dividers because I got a three ring binder and I think that three ring binders are great especially if you have paperwork or something yes I don't know I just thought that was necessary I also got this like ceramic bowl I think it would be nice I don't know I just like the pattern and everything so it looks like this and the inside looks like that I just figured like for cereal or for like oatmeal or like anything that you need a bowl for I think it would be very nice and I just liked it a lot it was like four bucks at Walmart by the way okay so now on to the last couple of things that I have for you guys today first off um kind of to go with that cork board part of my whiteboard I also got these last night at Target and these are like dusty um pale pink I don't know I really like them and there are some clips for papers, also paper clips, if that makes any sense. I don't know what these are called. Binder clips. And I also have push pins because I need them for that little cork part of my board. So I got those. Also a different day, I just thought this would be like a really cute DIY. Maybe I'll make like DIY video of it um, if I can find other things to kind of DIY in my room. I got this piece of wood from Target. It was really cheap. It was like probably like three bucks. I don't know. For a piece of wood, I think that's good I don't know I've just seen a lot of like really cool like wood art on Pinterest of like people like painting it black and then writing things on it and I either wanted to make like a sign for our dorm or something or just like make one for me and like put it next to my stuff I kind of want like almost like a gallery wall in front of my desk so we're gonna figure that out eventually but we'll see <laughs> we'll see what happens when I move in because I don't know if any of these plans in my head are actually gonna work out we'll have to see but I also got these post-its and I thought these were the coolest thing ever. They are black post-its. And I also got some shimmery markers. I don't know where I put those, but I got like gold and silver metallic markers to write on these with. I think they're so cool. I've never seen black post-it notes. And I don't know, I think they're really cool. So anyways, I'm gonna finish up with pretty much like the last thing that I have here today. I also have this mini emergency kit that Michaela gave me at VidCon, um, technically for my graduation. And it has 17 essentials that will be nice if I ever need them. Um, things like, random things like deodorant, towelette, stain remover, um, nail polish remover pad, clear elastics, lip balm, 
tampons, breath drops, um, clear nail polish, hairspray, emery board, just like a bunch of different things. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you, Michaela. And yes, so that was me trying to get through this as quickly as possible. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a part two because I feel like I'm going to have a lot more things to show you. Maybe once I get all those things before I go to college, I'll film another one for you guys. But if you like this, please let me know down in the comments below. Also, I will have a lot more college videos coming up. Just um, request down below if you want to see any more. I plan on making a video about the college I'm going to. Also, kind of just like why I chose it like in the same video. And then I also want to do a move-in day vlog. I really wanted to do one of those. So we will see how that all turns out. But yes, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!